Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, question tells us that A1 and A2 are the arithmetic means and G1, G2, G3 are the geometric means between two positive distinct numbers. Let's say the two distinct numbers are A and B. Then we have been asked what will be the value of the expression that is G1 raised to 4 plus G2 raised to 4 plus G3 raised to 4 plus G1 square into G3 square. So we need to figure out what will be the value of this entire expression. What will be it equal to? And there are four options given to us. The first option tells us A1 plus A2 the whole square into G1, G3. Second option given to us is A1 plus A2 into G1 square into G3 square. The third option given to us is two times of A1 plus A2 into G1 square into G3 square. And the last option given to us is two times A1 plus A2 into G1 into so we need to figure out which of the following options is the correct one here. Let's see this. So if I write that first, let's say if I talk about the arithmetic progression, we know for a sequence of arithmetic progression, difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. So if I have my three, oh sorry, instead of three, if I have two arithmetic means between the two terms A and B, so I can have A, A1, a2 and the last term B here. So here if I have this four terms, if I write it in terms of arithmetic sequence, I have my first term as A, second term becomes A plus D, third term becomes A plus 2D, last term becomes A plus 3D. So I know that A plus 3D is my last term. So B is equal to A plus 3D. B is equal to A is my first term also. So A is first term which is small a, so small a plus 3d. So in this case, I get the difference as b minus k upon 3d. So this is my difference that is b minus a upon 3. If I find all the terms I have here, a1, that is your first arithmetic mean, becomes a plus d. Where a we know it is small a, d is b minus k by 3. If I solve it further, it becomes 3a minus a plus b upon 3. So that is 2a plus b upon 3. This is your first arithmetic mean. And the second arithmetic mean I have here is a plus 2d, which is small a plus 2 times b minus a upon 3. That gives you 3a plus 2b minus 2a. So 3a minus 2a, which is a plus 2b so we have these two arithmetic means with us, that is A1 and A2. Let's also see if I have a geometric progression. We know that in the geometric progression, the ratio between the consecutive terms is a constant value. So if I have three geometric means between my two terms A and B, A, G1, G2, G3, and B. So if I have this, if I write my actual geometric terms that are given by A, then you have A into R, A into R square. So you get every next term by multiplying the previous by R. So you have the last term here in case of this as B is equal to A. So from here you get this. Last term is equal to A into R raised to 4. Where this capital A is nothing but this small a. So it's multiplied with r raised to 4. r raised to 4 becomes b by a and that gives you a constant ratio as b by a raised to 1 by 2. So you get this common ratio is nothing but the fourth root of the 
expression or the fraction that is b by a. So if I have this a into r, I know that r is nothing but b by a raised to one by four. So your first geometric mean becomes small a into b by a raised to one by four. That gives you a into a raised to minus one by four into b raised. To so it makes it a three by four b raised to one by four. That is a cube b raised to one by four. That's your first geometric term. Geometric mean. Second geometric mean is a into r square. So a into b by a raised to one by four and square. So it becomes two by four. So two by four is one by two. So you get this a into a raised to minus half. That is again a raised to half b raised to one. So from here I can write it in terms of b raised to one by four if I want to write it. I can write that as a square b square. So I am multiplying both sides by two in the power, also dividing both sides by two. So you get one by four, and multiplying both sides by two in the power gives you a square and b square. Third geometric mean, if I figure out, that is a r cube. So a into b by a raised to one by two. That gives you a b by a raised to b by two. So a and b, a raised to minus three by four, that is b raised to one by four, b raised to three by four, a b cube, the whole raised to one by. Four. So you have this third geometric mean. So once you have this three geometric means with you, you, can just solve the question further with the expression which is given to us. That is g one raised to four plus g two raised to four plus g three raised to Plus g1 square into g3 square. So g1 raised to 4. That is a cube b the whole raised to 1 by 4 raised to the power of 4. A square b square raised to 1 by 4 raised to power of 4. The last was a b. G one square and G three square. So that is B cube B raised to one by four, and square of that into A B cube. So what I get here is one by four and four gets cancelled with each other, and you get A cube B. Here again four gets cancelled. You get A square B square. Here four gets cancelled. You get a. Here you get a cube b the whole raised to two by four, which is one by two. Here you get a b cube raised to two by four, which is again. Now, if I take out common from the terms a and b, let's say, so what I'm left with is a square plus a b plus b square. From here, if I take out that Common thing, with the same power half. I have a cube b into a b cube. So a cube into a becomes a raised to four. B into b cube becomes b raised to four. So you get a b a square plus a b plus b square. Plus here you have a raised to four b raised to four the whole raised to half that is a square. From here also, if I take out a b common, I get this. A B left out outside. You have your A square plus A B plus B square plus A. B. So you get it A B A square plus two A B plus B square. When I have A square plus two A B plus B square, I can write that as A B into A plus B of B square. Now we know that for addition in the options, I can see. For the addition part, I only have a one plus a two. There is no g one plus g two or g one plus g three anything. So if I add a one plus a two, let's find out what I get. So a one and a two I already have with me. If I add a, that is two a plus b plus a plus two b upon three. That is three a plus three b upon three. Three common a plus b. So you get a plus b. So a one plus a two is nothing but a plus b. If I substitute that a plus b as a one plus a two, the whole square a into b 
So I try to write it A into B. We know A1 plus A2, the whole square is only present in the first option. So we know that this is the correct option. Now let's just try to see if G1 into G3 becomes A into B here. So if I find out G1 was A cube B, whole raised to 1 by 4, G3 was A B cube. If I find G1 square, that was A cube B raised to 1 by 4 raised to 2, so 2 by 4, which is half. And G3 square was A B cube raised to 1 by 4. So once I multiply both of the ideas, G1 square into G3 square becomes A cube B, A B cube, the whole raised to 1 by 2. Which comes a raised to 4 into b raised to 4, the whole raised to 1 by 2. That makes it a square b square. So I get it a into b. If I take the square root on both sides, I get this g1 So you get this a into b is g1 into g3. So from here you get this as g1 into g3. So that if I see matches with the option a. I get this entire expression is invalid. Okay. So A is the answer for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the arithmetic and geometric means. So we just figured out with the help of arithmetic means the two arithmetic means A1 and A2. And with the concept of geometric progression, we also figured out the three geometric means. And then we just did whatever we were asked for, we carried out that operation. And once we simplified, it became equivalent to A1 plus A2 the whole square into G1 into G3. That matches with the equation. So A is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue this series of questions on GW means as well as Gabriel. So stay tuned for more videos to rule out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of journey of JWD. Thank you.